that will always be a fraction. No matter how many other things or people, other fragments that you try to add to yourself in order to come up with this sense of completion, uh, they can always leave you. Or uh, you'll have to have more fragments to make you feel whole. So the ego is always under this sense of threat mm -hmm. or desire to gain more. And, the, and of course that pain gap that I'm speaking of then creates this perception of the world, one of suffering. What I would really like everyone to hear is that this is the end of all suffering and it's fully available to every human being right now. It doesn't require 25 years in a hidden cave in the Himalayan mountains. Uh, you cannot learn who you are. It's beyond perception. I am beyond cognition. Mm -hmm. We can only simply be still, of course, before the awakening. We'll go back just a moment again to that ego, that time-based self. Yeah who is always in either the past and projecting the same past into the future. You know, it's just a vicious circle. Right. And if we can step out of time by being the body fully mm -hmm. and being present, then we have the opportunity to discover the infinite self that we truly are. It's not a trivial matter. You know, if as we realize who we are, there, the world is then transformed. You know, if it's the end of all suffering, this is available for the world. It seems something is happening in the moment. I mean, we had Gangachi here uh, a few weeks ago and she said, this is the time of the ordinary awakening. You know, where it just happens, this awakening happens mm -hmm. to normal lay people who never heard anything about mm -hmm. it. And, um, yeah, so, I guess... Well, we, what, we've been traveling since 1999. Yes. Uh, and have been willing to meet with anyone who is interested or can listen. Yes. And it is true that people in all walks of life are waking up to this essential truth, truly essential truth. Yes. Uh, it's alive, it's flourishing, and uh, I could even say inevitable and unavoidable. <laughs> so it's more of a question, would you like to be prepared? <laughs> 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 you know, I think prepare. Uh, I mean, what, what I understand uh, is the importance of just be quiet sometimes yes. and sit and listen mm -hmm. and just be with yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, um, if you're sitting silently, perhaps in nature. Yeah. You know, the mind will still ramble on and on through association. I remember being here before, but I didn't really like the person I was here with. Yes. You know, and all the psychology. You see, this is what drops. It's that psychological self that is at the end of it. Mm -hmm. But if you can really be there with the body and nature and use the sounds that you hear, the birds singing in the distance, or a babbling brook, or eyesight just watching, you know, a little leaf yeah. tremble in the wind. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to be in your mind. It's true, yeah. When the mind's in attention, mm -hmm. it doesn't think, and you're fully in the body. Mm -hmm. And then you can follow the, those sounds or sights back into uh, the stillness. 
You never have to leave stillness. It's always here. It can't truly be covered up. But if you identify with I, you know, all of the armor comes up. We're not giving up anything. There's no diminishment here. I think that's sometimes misunderstood. Yeah. Um, so, um, when this happened to you, it's, it was the background became the foreground, and the foreground moved away. And yet, you mention uh, in the book, you had several years it took you several years of integration. Mm -hmm. So I do not quite understand when you were identified with who you, who you are, what, and the, the I basically was gone. What was integrating? Or what was the part of integration? Yes, of course. So you see there's still some duality there. Yes. Some separation. Yes. Otherwise there wouldn't be anything to integrate with. That's right. But yeah. there was this profound bliss and stillness and the world appeared almost like um, a heat haze, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, a complete dream. And for whatever reason, and perhaps this has always been so more likely than not, Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity to integrate this so that we don't have a source from which all else flows. Yeah. You know, there's separation in that. There is only this. There's the deep, still formlessness that's dancing everywhere within form, constantly changing. But We've only shifted in identity. You know, you haven't truly given up the body. You haven't yeah. given up anything. The only thing that is ultimately, in the end, surrendered is suffering and separation. And you can still see that. So, you know, as yeah. the mind yeah. acts out. We were sitting uh, just last night here in London. And, um, these two men started walking down the street and I heard them coming quite a ways away because one was yelling it almost sounded like you know there was some type of argument but as he approached I realized he was simply talking about his work situation and here are these lovely flowers and these baskets under the windows and the trees with the leaves on them it was twilight beautiful time of evening and he was with a friend, uh, and he was just yelling about everything that had happened at work. And I'm not saying this in any judgmental kind of way. Mm -hmm. It's just the perfect example of this pain body, the psychological pain. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet all, there's all this love and beauty surrounding him. His friend was, you know, kind of shoulders up and listening. But his opportunity there could have been uh, to feel the evening, to feel the breeze on the skin, to recognize the deep connection with a friend. But instead, he was into his story of the psychological self, that separate identity that it needs conflict. And of course, it was a past story. But had nothing to do with the beautiful walk that he was on with his lovely friend. And, and you could just see the insanity yes, of it. Yes, but how do you see conflict? I mean, there is conflict in the world. There are wars and, you know, things are happening which are not beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how does reality look for you? Beautiful. In, in this? Yes, and, and this aspect And just of like you. this gentleman walking down the street, yes. identif identified and still um, hypnotized by the collective well, consciousness, we could call it unconsciousness. Yes. would be more accurate. Uh, you can see the wars and the violence. Mm 